Let's go. You can start. Uh, please open your microphone, Supriya. A very good evening from India. And I am here, Dr. Supriya Kumar Velu, international speaker, leadership communication coach, Toastmaster, and head of learning training development, IIU. And I am welcoming my all guests who are watching live, my dear friends, my dear passionators who are there to support me. And once again, I thankfully heartfelt thanks to the CEO, founder, creator of IIU, that is International Internship University, Mr. Piyush Pandit Sir, who has given me, rendered me a beautiful golden opportunity to be with you all on understanding leadership styles. And I am here to take your journey forward. But before that, let me apprise you about this platform. Well, this IIU needs no introduction today because it is globally spread and everybody knows what is IIU. Honorary doctorates to educational, to learning, to expanding, to evolving, to engaging. We are everywhere. Helping hands for the people who wants to explore their knowledge in education, in doctorates, and with lots of learnings that is going on virtually. The first international virtual university is IIU. And I don't think so, that you need much more introduction after this. All right, folks. Once again, welcome everyone. And I am here to take you fantastic journey with my leadership style and get set go well as you all know leadership style but the most important thing let's work on the basic ground the basic thing the roots because roots are more important than branches of any tree. We say leadership style, but my question to all my viewers in a very plain, or you can say a layman language, what is a leader? And I know everybody is going to write, a leader is the one who knows the way, shows you the way and make you follow that way. And I'm not gonna listen to that because we all know that and we are going to learn something new. We are going to explore something amazing. We are going to view something exciting on this journey with you all. Now, the leader is, yes, I want the acronym of a leader along with motivation, along with inspiring you, along with making you a dart forward to achieve a common goal. A leader is a loyal person, empathic, advancement, diplomacy, ethics, and responsibility. And trust me, folks, we all are leader. Every leader is hidden within us. 
we have to focus, we have to chalk out, we have to know where is that truth. I will narrate you one story, taking you to an example how I discovered this leadership in me and I just invented a great leader in myself, which you will know in my further journey with you all. So my uh, only one request with you all is answer the questions which I say in the Zoom. Uh, well, Zoom chat is not available. So Facebook Live, you can just type it, motivate me and cooperate with me. Well, leader, leader is a bond trait, people say but I do believe everyone, every single human being is having a leader hidden. And today, if I am successful in bringing out the leaders within you, then today my session will be fruitful, not only to you, but to me, of course, as your mentor, as your coach or a trainer. So, I am so excited and I am taking this journey forward by. Yes, and here is my leader who has a mission. Who has a vision? Who knows how to handle situations? Who knows how to be empathized with others? Who is a successful person in every who can look corner of life? who knows to communicate, who knows to be a good balance between career, work, life balance, and the most important thing of a leader is respect. And I'm sure these all traits everybody is having and they need to chalk it out, frame it out, and pour it out. If you agree with my this statement, please type BIO here, which I can see. Exactly. Thank you so much for this nice cooperation. Of course, you all are ready. You all are ready for a big transformation, which is going to happen in this time. And before I take another slide, Yes, be a good leader, not only on your workplace, but also in your professional life. Because sometimes we think that uh, being a good leader only in your work platform will make you the best. And friends, this is the place where you will lack. This is the place you will create gap for yourself. Because charity begins at home. If you want to be a good leader in your workplace, if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, if you want to be successful in your journey, in your career, be a leader, start your journey within and within yourself. Good example. Set yourself a good example in front of your family members. Clear communication should be there with each and every buddy. And when you do all these basics homework, I think nobody, nobody can't stop you from achieving your goal, from achieving your aim, and making you the best leader in every form of your life. And why I am making this homework this space strong because you are going to learn something exciting, which is going to be in my current journey. Now, one person can ask me why we are learning. Okay, fine. We know about leader, who has to be a leader, what it has to be done, and whatever I said just now. What is the need of learning this leadership styles. Why? Can somebody write in the Zoom chat? What is the requirement? 
okay thank you so much thank you so much i'm getting a lovely responses wow you made my day by filling all the answers thank you so much audience thank you so much for your love cooperation and which i am seeing here live today yes one question when you go to a doctor and if your doctor cannot diagnose you properly suppose i have fallen ill and i want to go to a doctor and if my doctor can't diagnose me well will he or she be able to give me the correct medicine correct medicine for my disease or oh, no not at all finding your correct disease finding your correct cap and then filling it with the right medicine then filling it with the right you know the potential medicine which i will say that gives you free from your disease or that gives you the correct benchmark for you to understand what type of a person you are suppose we all are corporate people working in some or other organization and we have to deal with so many people of different personality types if you know okay this person is of this type this person is of this character this type he or she possesses this kind of style suitability flexibility what are his strength what are his weaknesses trust me folks we can leverage the best work from him or her and when we are taking that work when we are understanding that particular style of any person then nothing is impossible for you nothing is impossible you know some people so many people will complain that they are having a lot of you know pressure and how to handle this people how to handle this particular situation oh my god my boss is having a lot of attitude how i'm going to tackle him or her this is the place where you have to understand the importance and objective of a leadership style don't get panic when you're handling any person because then in that place you don't know where to go and where to just make it so i will say only one thing trust this leadership styles know a person better because you are going to take lot and lot of stuff from him or her and there this is the beginning of my leadership style and here we go for the next Oh my god what is he doing yes my facebook chat box i want the answer what is he doing howling trampling shouting resentment showing a lot of stress anger or taking a break yes a big silence yes thank you so much thank you so much for your cooperation and answers yeah he is the boss and she is his employee and he is taking the work shouting maybe she has done some mistake and is this the way or he should approach and this is nothing folks but i am making you to understand making you to know about my first leadership style that is authoritarian leadership what happens generally when we are into work so uh, everybody is having a lot of work pressure you know a lot of work pressure and sometimes we forget that we are a human being we generally forget our values and you know in that pressure in that stress 
thing, say a lot of things which we should not do. And that's the importance of a leadership style. And particularly, if I talk about my authoritarian leadership, as the name suggests, authority. This type of leadership imposes authority, imposes demands, and it wants a perfect result. I want this. It has to be done. It has to be done in a systematic manner. And every leadership style has some pros, some cons. So basically, we'll be dealing both. And we will focus on those nitty gritty things which will make you the best and will not force you to take those leadership in a very wrong manner or a negative manner. So let's focus on the positive part. When we show authoritarian leadership, I do agree that it will be a very finery, very refinement, your colleagues will be, or employee will be too much, you know, they will be very alert. They will be doing their work very systematically. Employee retention, employee enhancement will be there. And group synergy will be there. Do agree. But if your employee is not happy in your organization, I think it will be an utter failure for a boss or for an organization to move forward with those people. Because uh, an organization always becomes with the people. And if you are making your employee happy, contentment, then that is not, the, I will not say that uh, it cannot be flourished, that organization will always be at the best. For example, IIU, I will say only one thing, your every employee is being respected, being honored, and we all are like a family together. We are working day and night. Well, talking about this leadership, I have taken as example. I will say only one thing, with this authoritarian leadership, you can make the, your work best. You can chalk out the plans in a very systematic manner. Employee retention will be there. Employee enhancement will be there. A lot of innovations will be there. But one thing you will miss, and that is the most disadvantage of this leadership. That is, it will show your bossy attitude. And there is a difference between a boss and a leader. So don't take the negative aspect of this leadership, rather than focus on employee enhancement, group synergy, employee collaboration, and a perfect team build. That's, that's what's most important for this authoritarian leadership, which should impose positivity, ambience, and a feeling of family. That's what the most important leadership always says. Focus on the people, not focus only on you. Okay. Yes, that's what I wanted to make you aware. Being a leader and being a boss makes a lot of difference. I can be a boss, I can shout, I can howl. Hey, do my work. You have to do me in this constraint. But that work is for you to do. Rather than I should motivate my people as a mission accomplishment leader. And trust me, the work which I can take as a boss in one hour, two hour, and when I will be a leader, motivate them, that work will be accomplished within 30 minutes. That's the power of a leader. That's the positivity of a leader, which every corporate person, every trainer, mentor, coach, because most of the audiences, lovely audiences are here with me in that particular domain. Yes, this is the perfect thing which I would like to and love to say everyone over here. Leave the boss in attitude. That is not going to help. I, no I, we always take the credit, the boss, and 
gives the credit when you're a leader. Don't criticize the people. It's very, very easy to pick the point which he or she's not able to do rather than encourage a person because he or she is also a human being. And being a boss, you will always find faults. You know, this has not happened. That has not happened. You have to do this. You have to do that. And that is you are fighting a woman. It generally happens, you know. We all are working in our offices. We all are working in corporates. And it generally happens. Because small thing, I'm telling you, but a small role can sink a whole big ship. So we have to focus on small things. And we have to continuously improve it on that particular moment. Instead of blaming others, take the responsibility. Make them fearless. That's what the nutshell says of a leader. Always make them, you know, happy, cool, ambience positive. Definitely the level of your work, the level of your commitment, and the, the enha uh, employment enhancement personality and the retention will be the best. Trust me, folks, it is not only a slide, but if you focus on small, small things, you will be the better version of yourself. So the objective here is don't be a boss, rather be a leader. And if you want to differentiate between these two, try to get the focus to the small thing which people generally ignore. And that's where your great transformation will happen. Oh, so what are they doing? They are mingling, they are talking, they are discussing on a particular topic, and they look so cool. Their ambience looks so positive. Everybody is having a smile. That is not a story I'm telling. This is about my next leadership that is called democratic leadership the other name we can say is participative leadership gently have you seen well i don't know about your company but generally i am the follower of this particular leadership in this leadership if you take me as myself as an example I will treat my own team members as my family, as my own brother and sister. I will assign as a leader some goal and the all people will feel open-minded. The all will be uh, not neglected. The all will be, yes, they are respected. They are uh, asking, yes, my leader is asking my consent. And when you respect your employee, when you will take the important, uh, you know, consent, they will be included, evolved, engaged, and excel. Do this. I'm sure if you are not following the leadership, do this. This leadership has given me a hundred percent successful result in my work area. When I take, let me give you an example. If I want to make 10 trainers ready or take some important professional work, I will involve everyone. Yes, this is my task. This is our company board. This is not only me or you. It's a matter of us, we. And when we, you say we, the feeling of willingness to work, the feeling of accomplishment will increase into 100x because everybody will think yes we are working for a common goal let's drive it let's do this let's help our leader because if a leader respect get respect then give respect is the basic courtesy responsibility of an employee or an individual so in this leadership give the respect Please involve your team members as your family members. Ask their consent. They should not be neglected. 
you should set the company goal. What are your tasks in a systematic manner? Motivate them. Just tell what are the things they need to work on it. What are their nitty gritties? What are their strength? What are their weakness? And these type of leadership, when I say people will love to talk, people will love to take their responsibility. Yes. And if I talk about the positive side of this democratic leadership, of course, your higher productivity will be increased when people will be zestful of seeing, they will work automatically without showing your bossy attitude. Because they are, you know, all being respectful. And if any person is respectful, he or she will do the work in a very responsible manner and a very systematic manner. But sometimes, if we think the pros and cons, if I am discussing the con side, then if some people in no group are not capable, not skilled, I mean, mean to say, then somehow you will not go to the correct decision. Or you can say a lot of time will be taking for taking a particular decision because you have to ask each and everybody consent. What is this? What is good? What is bad? And in this churning process, the decision can be delayed. So it's all about your perception. How do you take it? How do you look on it? So it's all about your democratic leadership. And so many people who have asked me this question, what is your leadership style? So I will say, I go with this, that is participative or democratic leadership, which you can say a clear agenda, I'm telling you, clear truth, I'm telling you. It increases my work into 10x, 100x, and the work comes out from this churning method is 100% successful. So I follow this, and I don't know what's your leadership style. All right, so people are welcoming and I'm getting a lot of lovely comments. Thanks for your support. Keep showering your blessings. Okay, my next leadership style make you somehow confused. What are they doing with their thumbs? Folded hands. Yes, this is all about your, my favorite once again, this is your delicate leadership, which is also known as lazy five. And what and this word has taken from a French word. This meaning is let's do. In other last one we saw, we are motivating. Hey, you can do this. Hey, you can do this. But in this particular leadership, that is your delegation, as the name indicates you feel freely you make the people freely you know allow the people to take their own air breathe in and take your own decisions and people will come forward people will take the decision rather than their leader and the leader will be at the last but the employees will be in front place and they should also not be neglected in this too. And of course, when, as I said about my earlier one, when you give a lot of responsibility, a lot of respect, a lot of freedom, then you feel a lot. As an employee, you feel great respect and also be a leader. So this Lazy Fire is also the favorites of so many leaders which they follow and ultimately the result which comes out is is perfect hundred percent now uh, people can ask me which one is the best so i will say only one thing which one you think is the best which one you think your employees which one you think your organization and that particular leadership you have to take it up so this is all about the small one. And one incident I would like to tell everyone over here. 
we, we say and we face a lot of problems, not because we are not capable, because we are lacking the importance of understanding leadership style. Even when I take about the communication style, there you have to be a better communicator, a better person to judge what is the front person communication style and why I am uh, pitching in these things because leadership style, personality style and your communicative style is not something different. Everything is revolving around a common thing that is your style, your leadership style. So try to get those things, whether you are a good personality trait or you are a communicative style or your leadership style in a very systematic, in a very poorly manner, so that everything should fall according to you in a very systematic manner. And also a win-win situation for an employee or for your uh, organizer or for boss. So that's the motto of this leadership. Yes. Now, when I have moved to this slide. I'm sure people must be thinking, is it some game I'm going to tell you? Or is it some other style? Or it may be, you know, children used to play, make squares in their childhood uh, games. They used to play these type of games. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a game. Again, once I will say, this is your Another leadership style, that is your transactional leadership style. And trust me, most of the corporate companies focuses on this leadership style. Why? There is a reason. As the name suggests, transactions. Your transactions between you, your leader, and your followers. And the transaction is not money or some other thing. In this leadership, a leader will set the goal. Yes, this is top of your plan. You have to do this, you have to do that, and this is your goal. But the basic difference is after your job get done, accomplished, either you will be rewarded or any other exchange, or you will be punished according to your work done. So that is the basic difference of your transactional leadership. And in this, once again, I will say where performance is rewarded. If I say, if you do this, I, I'm going to give you a gift. 100% that, you know, that mingling quality of all the employees will be increased. Their employee retention, employee engagement, and employee, you know, uh, willingness to do that particular task will be increased. So that will create, that will motivate you. 100% group synergy will be there, group involvement will be there, and a better team will be there. So the basic thing, which I would like to tell you everything, team is very important rather than your solo work in every organization. You have to be the best team. And for the best team, you have to be the best leader in yourself. Because a leader can guide, can make, can break, or can shake his employee or organization. Then you will say or motivate in this uh, particular transactional analysis. You have to motivate people continuously. Some people will be happy with the awards, rewards, and little bit where you will say about the punishment that that has can be the you know a setback or a, a failure for employees so it's all about seeing the vision how you are seeing it how you are taking the things whether the things are in a good manner or a bad manner and ultimately folks i will say only one thing in every leadership quality in every leadership quality the pros and cons are there everywhere. But are these cons are making you? Because sometimes 
bad things will happen, you know, the unfavorable situations. And that you take in a very negative manner. Oh, why that happened to me? But trust me, these are all your things happening to refine you, to refresh you, and to make you. So learn from your failures. Learn what uh, the mistakes which you are doing. And when in this particular leadership, if you are getting a reward, appreciate it. And when you are not getting a reward, don't demotivate yourself rather than chuck out what and where are your gaps. How you are going to fill it up? What will be the correct systematic plan? And I will say PSI rule. That is, you have to follow life law. Problem, solution, implementation. That's the place that makes you. And that will make you different. Because winners don't do different things. They do things differently. And you have to keep it in your mind and flourish in your life with a lot of laurels. All right. So this is all about your transactional. And another one I will say, this leadership. You know, most of the people said, and they're comfortable with the transformation, not only in their personal life, but also their professional life, how they are going to take it up in their life. And have you seen people, they, they've already complained, oh, how to do the transformation, where to find the coach, where to find the correct people. I tell you, if you close your eyes, if you just talk to yourself, if you just analyze where are your problems, what are your problems, and how you are going to make it, that transformation will start from that point itself. You need not to go to any coach. Trust me, this is my own experience. And this is the point where transformation leadership will take into rule. In this particular uh, leadership, the leader will motivate people in such a lucid manner, in such a grand manner, that automatically his or her employees will do miracles of the work. 100% genuine work they will do. That is called the transformation. Transformation will not happen just like that. It has to be continuously refinement, churning, of your inner qualities, where a leader will be a motivator, solver the problems of his employees, and an active listener. That's the difference between a successful leader or a or non-successful or a failure leader. Try to listen to the people whom you want to inform, evolve, exchange. <laughs> Completely a transformational therapy. If you know them, then only you can transform. Try to get empathized. Try to think their problems with your own eyes. Empathy. The word is empathy and it has a lot of values. Okay, she is falling in. But as a leader, I should not scold, do this or do that. Rather, I should think. Same situation can happen with me also tomorrow. And if I, my leader or my boss would have said those words, how would I have felt? So that is the place where it makes you a different, a, a better person, I must say. When you are transforming others, you are the best leader and you have all those qualities. So in this, I will say only one thing, you will be the role model for your employees. And when you will be the role model, I think nobody can't stop you to transform your people, your employees, and of course, your organization will be number one if you follow the correct and systematic manner of transformational leadership. And uh, it depends on you, it depends on your people, how you people are taking, making, shaking your employees or organization. So play your style 
wisely. And of course, respecting, empathizing with your employees. Of course, I will say the transformational leadership four elements, very, very important. And trust me, this is not only a slide, but it has to be followed it up. Idealized influence. When you will influence, people will automatically come to you. Inspirational, motivational should be in your blood. And that makes you a perfect leader. Your intellectual stimulation should be there. And always, whatever style you are following. Your individualized consideration, consent is must. Even if you're an entrepreneur, even if you're 100 employees, each and every employee should get the particular respect, will, should get the particular attention, and when they will get that particular attention, respect. This is the human nature, folks. Everybody will return you. This is the law of nature. Everybody will return you with that double of the respect. So in a nutshell, if I take my journey with you all, I will say only one thing. Respect, empathize, be a good communicator. Understand, be a good leader rather than a bossy attitude. This is the nutshell. This is the key day. I will say to everyone and to give everyone. All right, one success mantra I would like to give to all my lovely audience who is watching, who is commenting, who is supporting, who is motivating. And the success mantra is not only just like that I am uh, showcasing you in front of you. Try it, try at least five days and you will see the beautiful result outcome because this is my tried out mantra. Who is your leader, favorite leader? Suppose if anybody asks Supriya, who is your favorite leader? And if I say, Rani Lakshmi Bhai, Indra Gandhi, Marie Curie, anybody, try to get at least two points. Try to inculcate, try to imbibe those qualities in your personality. I know it's very easy to say rather than to follow, but you can try, you can practice it. And slowly, slowly, you will find a real transformation in yourself, in your personality. Suppose my leader is very calm, cool. And I am a person, suppose, very short tempered. One day, it will be a challenge for me to get on those tracks, but when I will follow my leader, his quality, his traits, I will feel the better version of myself. Yes, I have to control my temperament. I have to control my anger. I have to follow his or her footsteps. Let's focus on strength rather than weakness. That is the mantra of every successful person. Follow your leader if you are confused in your life. Just take the two or three traits, personality traits, follow on his or her shoe, her footsteps, and you will be, trust me folks, I am saying on this uh, live telecast, you will be the change, transform person, be the best version of yourself. Admire a leader, follow the leader, and this is the key takeaway of today's session, or you can say, the successful mantra. So the best one, I will say only one thing, be the master of your own destiny, follow your own leadership style, think from other point of view, again and again I'm saying, respect other, respect the people, because when you respect other people, definitely 100%, the other person will also think to you, whether he's a boss, whether he's an employee, whether he's a trainee or coachee, you will be the best mentor. And when the correct leadership style, you will implement to your people, rather uh, focusing on your weakness or blaming others, that's not going to be the best. So the success mantra, hope everybody will be following. And if you're going to follow, please type yes in the Facebook, 
uh, chart, I will be the happiest person if I see at least one yes. I'm sure you're not going to be making up, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Army. All right. So next move, the further one. And I will say thank you to all the people who have listened to me, who have listened to me carefully, who knows what are the things I have taught, I have taken your journey, become the kind of leader that people would follow voluntarily. Voluntarily work is most important. Even if you have no title or position, and these are the golden words of Brian Tracy. So once again, thank you so much, my moderator, my lovely audience, my IIU people, and of course the CEO, Mr. Piyush Pandit sir, for giving me once again this beautiful opportunity. So the nutshell is be the best leader, be the best version. And once you go from this session, follow the successful mantra and it is going to transform yourself. And what's your leadership style? Decide. So thank you so much. Here I complete.